Holy Time at Home. Presented by Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. Hi friends, my name is Miss Rebecca from the Sims Township Branch Library and I have a story to share with you today called Bruno the Standing Cat. It's written by Nadine Robert and illustrated by Jean Julien. This is a book I really like because I think it is hilarious. Grown-ups, kids can tell what your feelings are about a book. So choose books you really like to read. Connecting reading with enjoyment will help them be excited about learning to read. Here it is. Bruno, the standing cat. One morning, just as Peter was about to butter his toast, he heard a meowing sound at the window. The neighbor's cat must be hungry, he said to himself. But the meow soon changed into insistent cries, meow. So Peter got up to see what was going on. When he opened the door, the meow stopped. Peter found a box with a name written on it, Bruno. So he decided to open it. What do you think will be inside this box? Let's see. Free at last, Bruno the cat rose up on his back legs. Gee, Bruno, you're standing. Peter had never seen a cat stand up, but that didn't matter. He had always wanted a cat. So Peter adopted Bruno. One day after school, Pam came over to Peter's house. Hey, do you want to play outside? Pam tagged along when Peter and Bruno ran to the park. Look at him running on his hind legs. But how did you teach your cat to do that? Asked Pam. I didn't teach him, answered Peter. He could always do that. Bruno is a standing cat. Oh, wow. Can Bruno catch mice? No, but he loves to chase them on his skateboard. Awesome. Does Bruno like to play with balls of yarn? My cat likes to play with balls of yarn. Let's see if Bruno does. No, but he loves to play house and serve me tea. How funny. Does Bruno scratch his claws everywhere? No, never. But sometimes he likes to give me a back rub. What a good cat. Lucky you. Does Bruno eat regular cat food? No, he won't eat it. But he does like chewing bubble gum. He can even blow bubbles upside down. Amazing! Does he like to hide in his box? Now, I know a lot of cats like to hide in boxes. No, not at all. But you should see him when he hears his favorite song. Look at him go. I wonder what his favorite song is. Yeah, not bad. Can Bruno do something that nobody else can do? Watch this. Bruno starts to run. He flies and he catches the ball. Whoopee, exclaims Pam. Bruno is a standing cat and he is unique. But what I like the most is that he is my friend. That's the end. All right, I also have a song to share with you today called Five Little Kernels. So we're going to take our five little kernels. They're going to sizzle in the pot. What happens when you cook kernels in a pot? They pop and turn into popcorn. Let's cook our kernels. Five little kernels sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, one went pop. All right, we had five kernels. We'll take one away. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Four little kernels sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, one went pop. All right, we had four. Take one away. One, two, three. Three little kernels sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, one went pop. All right, how many are left? We have three. Take one away. One, two. Two little kernels sizzling in the pot. 
All of a sudden, one went pop! Now we're just down to one. One little kernel sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, one went pop! There's one left, and that one's gone. So how many are left now? None, zero kernels. Should you cook a pot by itself? Let's see what happens. Zero little kernels sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, the pot went pop! Thanks so much, friends, for joining me today for a song and story. I'll see you next time. Bye. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. Org to find out more.